Welcome. In this video, we'll continue the side of the partial differentiation and you'll see some of the rules of the partial differentiation. So we'll see addition, subtraction, and the product. So we know that the partial differentiation is a case of derivatives in which we have a function which has many variables and we want to find the rate of change of that function at a specific point. We want to find the rate of change of that function with respect to a specific variable among all the variables within the function. So this function can have x, y, z, and w, and as many variables as we can want. But the overall point of that is that we just want to find the rate of change of that function with respect to only one of those variables. So there are some rules that you're going to see. We'll see subtraction, addition, multiplication, which is the product, and a bonus, which will be the derivative of a function multiplied by a constant. So we can even start with the derivative of a function multiplied by a constant. What it basically says us is the rule three is that if you have a constant multiplying some function, then what you do is just the constant multiplied by the derivative of that specific function. So there's no magic into that. See in this case of examples, we have a function v, which is 3x cubed minus 4yz plus 6, and u, which is 2y, 2xyz plus 3x squared. So we have three cases that we have to use these properties or these rules to solve these three cases. We're going to start with the case of a constant. So to start with the case of the constant, what we do is now, first of all, we have to identify what is the constant here. And the constant here is 25. So we have 25 outside, and then we have del v, del u, sorry, by del x. So now we come to u. u is 2 x, y, z plus 3 x squared. So we want to find the partial differentiation, the partial derivative of u with respect to x only. In case we want to find the partial derivative of some function with respect to a specific variable, all the other variables are, are treated as constants. So what we have here is 25. The partial derivative of u with respect to x is that we only consider x. So this x is derivative will become 1 and this will become 6 x. So we have 25 into 2yz plus 6x, 6x, and this is our function. So this is the answer we have. But it may happen that for some reason you may want to just give us a specific uh, complete result. So we're going to have here 50yz plus 25 into 6, which is going to give us 150x. So this is the solution of our problem. So what we did basically is just multiply the constant with the derivative of that function. So now we have another case. The first case, addition and subtraction. We have the partial derivative of two functions and you want to make the addition and subtraction. What you have to do basically is to find the partial derivative of all of them inside and then you just do the operation that you're required to do. Let us take this example. To solve this example, which we have partial derivative of u plus v with respect to x. What we do is now find the partial derivative of u with respect to x and of v with respect to x. u and v are these functions here. So we are going to have del u, I'm following the same order that it's here, by del x plus del v by del x. So what we'll have now is del u by del x, which we already found here when we're solving this. So it becomes 2yz plus 6x, which is this del u by del x, and we have here del v by del x, which is this one. So we have 2x cubed, and then this will become 9x squared. And all of these ones are considered to be constants, and the derivative of a constant is 0. So in the end, what we have is we have 2yz plus 6x plus 9x squared. So in short, what we do is now find the partial derivative of any of the functions given respect, respect to the variable that is asked for, and then we just do the operation whether it's subtraction or it's addition. The other case is when we have multiplication, the, derivative, the partial derivative of multiplication of two functions. So in this case, our u and v are those ones, the same ones. So what we do now is we have to multiply one of the functions with the partial derivative of the other function with respect to the required variable and then add to the other function which we have not used yet multiplied by the partial derivative of the function which was not used previously. That's what it's telling us here. 
because we are finding the partial derivative of v with respect to x x we are multiplying with the function u which is being treated as a constant plus now we use v as a constant and then multiply by the partial derivative of the previous function which is u so how do we do it we have it's equal to our u is this one so what we do we write u as it is 2xy z plus 2x square multiplied by the partial derivative of our v which is 3x squared 3x cubed minus 4yz plus 6 this is with respect to x plus the other one is v now because we consider here the, the u now we're considering the v so it will become 3x cubed minus 4yz plus 6 into the partial derivative with respect to x of now the other function is u this one 2xy z plus 3x square so now what we do start from this side so now what we do is that this will remain as it is so we're going to have 2xyz plus 3x square into the partial derivative of this v and the partial derivative of this is because with respect to x we just consider the where we have x and all that doesn't have x is being considered as a constant so this is going to give us what this is going to give us 9x squared which is the partial derivative of this partial derivative here plus now we come to this one which was our v 3x cubed minus 4yz plus 6 into now the partial derivative of this u with respect to x so this gives us 2yz because x its derivative is 1 plus 6x 